The meeting and public hearing of the City of Falls Church Planning Commission for November 3rd, 2014 is now in session. Ms. G, would you please call the roll? Mr. John? Present. Ms. Hockenberry? Here. Mr. Meeks? Here. Mr. Rankin? Here. Ms. Rogers? Here. Mr. Wodiska? Here. Ms. Teets is absent. Um, I, I would like to um, ask that we uh, amend the agenda. We have two items that we would like to discuss briefly. Uh, one is the Kensington, the tree pits for the Kensington, because that was in uh, Mr. Rankin's motion. And also the, uh, the information that is before us on the dais, uh, Melissa is uh, the liaison for the City Public Safety Facility Task Force, and she has, oh, okay, and, and she has asked us to look this over so that we can give her a sense of how she is to represent us at the meetings. So, um, if I could have a motion to amend the agenda to put these two items under old business. So move. Thank you. Okay, moved and seconded to put these two items under new business. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Um, is there anyone in the audience who would like to petition the Planning Commission for items other than are on the agenda? Having no response to that uh, a question, I will move on to old business. And let's take up the Kensington first. Um, and Andy, if you remember, um, you made a motion. I think it's in the minutes that we have. Uh, I think it might be in these minutes. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm prepared. I remember it was uh, a request that we figure out if there's a way to keep the tree pits at exactly sidewalk grade instead of raised up. I would like to propose a motion. Okay. To keep the tree pits level. Flat. I'll second that. For the Kensington. <laughs> For the Kensington project. Been which, which, and to clarify, I think on the plans that came through, they were raised up. Right. Yes, they had those. The, the bulldoze. The no, no. I went back and looked. They're they're flush on my they're plans, flush. but then they gave us an amended one okay. with the bullnose. But the original one, and I think the one we actually voted on, they're flush. Yes. I thought one was still bullnose. I thought it was a mix, actually. Well, the the hotel has them flush, right? Right. Correct. Next door. Yes, and. Um, also, the re one of the reasons why we were even considering the change to the bulldoze uh, surround was because the tree commission had recommended that. And we have not heard anything back from them we about haven't. any other. So um, this would be a um, this would not be an amendment to the to the site plan, but it would be a clarification to the site plan. I believe staff had suggested that we go with the bulldoze. Uh, in deference too. to the tree, tree commission's concerns and then the commission wanted to look at it in more detail on site and make a decision that was part of mr rankin's motion right and and you went on a field trip, mr right? meeks suggested that he needed to go look at it before he could vote so i hope you did that and i think it will look goofy in respect to the hotel if one is bullnosed and then it's flush and then it's bullnosed so i think if you just flush on that side of the okay. street right there and yep that would be my thinking. And I think that would be a good example for the rest of the, the um, developments that come in to see if that works. Mm -hmm. uh, do we need to have a specific um, vote on this or I think vote? it would be helpful to put into the record you know, what you did. Uh, it sounds like there were field investigations and thorough consideration there of were it. There definitely field and, investigations. Uh, and the reasons why you'd like to go that way. Okay. And maybe it's something that after it's done, if it's done that way, could be evaluated to see if we'd want to do it on other future projects. All right. So, Mr. Meeks, your uh, motion would reflect that, please. So I, have, I have a question. Yes, Mr. John. Yeah. I'm just wondering. Um, I also did a 
took a field trip. Oh, that's right. You've and been doing the this yeah, work yeah. on street and, and I saw that further down on the street, the trees that we have there have bull-nosed edgings on them. So I'm just wondering, we're going to have a mishmash of uh, flush, bull-nose, flush, bull-nose. Only on that side of the street. On that side of the street. On that particular So block. I'm wondering if it's something that we, we just need to spend some more time looking at um, right, at a later date. Right. Well, yes, and Not I'm happy tonight. to take more field investigations with you and with this very weighty That'd matter. Very exciting. However, the Kensington is actually ready to go, so we have to give them an answer. And, and I did find Mr. Rankin's motion, and it says, contingent up an approval of the plat labeling minor corrections as noted in the staff report with the exception of the bullnose brick course around the tree which will be determined at a future time so th that is what we were voting on now All right do you, would you like to move i would like to make a motion yes that with regard to the kensington project tr dash Etc. 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 That the site plan reflect uh, what I believe it already reflect, which is we have flush tree pits as opposed to bullnose tree pits. Is, th is there a second? I'll second that. All right. It is not a TR. It is a site plan number two two zero one three dash zero six two seven. So if that would be Check. reflected in the motion. Uh, it's been moved and seconded uh, to approve the flush uh, <coughs> landscaping around the trees. Uh, Ms. G, would you please call the roll? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We, we've been requested to have some discussion. Remember about our two. All right. So uh, I have not been to that location to look at this issue very recently um the hotel i know is flush and is there anything else flush along that street that would be the kensington just the kensington would now be the second so is there everything else above it's not developed and oh. in addition the well the flower building it. i know definitely has the right. that's in the next that's block. true block, that's right? true okay. well so the broadway is maybe where you're going with this yeah but the but the but the Broadway doesn't really the that's I can't say that uh, the Broadway's you know the Sesame Street this one of these things is not like the other yes. so that's the Broadway so is I think it's hard to copy the Broadway I mean my field investigation says that you can't really copy the Broadway so you're almost going from the hotel down that I mean that'd be uh, so is the, th I know that's not for this particular motion, I'm just asking the Planning Commission, is the idea that in the future we would go flush, or we are just making this exception on this property because the hotel has already had flush fla uh, tree pits? I think that would have to be a policy decision made <clears throat> separately from this. Now, this doesn't... Uh, agreed. I'm just curious yeah. what the thinking, since this was so readily, like, let's vote on this. I, well, would, I would be in favor of trying to get to a flush standard. I think because of the bus shelter and the way the bus shelter is going to have that next tree has to be flush, and that was the same logic behind the hotel, so that's going to continue. So you almost have to do it. It just seemed to me it's going to look goofy if you try to do one and then not the other and then one and then not the other. In that block. In that block. So as a general principle, I like the concept of matching. The concept that we have a coherent streetscape on Broad Street. Um, but at the same time, I think flush is a better, meth better streetscape overall, um, mostly because of pedestrian traffic. I think that as I try to walk and bike on those sidewalks, even though I'm not supposed to bike on those sidewalks, uh, the bullnose is difficult to navigate. Uh, so I'm somewhat conflicted. I, I, I like the idea that we already have something in place and that bullnose is, while not wonderful, 
it's what we have already chosen, and I'm uh, reluctant to, sh to change that. Um, but if this is specifically associated with matching the hotel and there's a bus shelter reason, then I, I'll support it. But, but I am conflicted because I, on future projects, I do like the concept of a clean, identified brand or look. So. Well, Mr. Dijon is, is looking into that. You and uh, Mr. Snyder have been yeah, and, doing and some research on that. That so. was going to be my, ne my, next, um, my next thing I, was, I wanted to discuss. I think we need to come up with that policy where we pick one and then we go with it with every development. Now, now in this on, case, in. Yeah. in this case, I, mean, I can agree with, I mean, I see where you guys are going because that particular section of the street is flush up there, and then when you, then if we create the um, the bullnose one, you're going to it, it will look goofy, and then uh, the next, um, and I think there's a street in between the next segment, right, right. which also has the bullnose mm -hmm. section. So I'm I'm as conflicted as you are on that, but um, if we're going to set the flash as as the standard, I would love to see the flash all through the city for every new project that we do. If I, if I may comment, um, we're in a little bit of a period of flux in terms of the council and the planning commission approved a zoning ordinance change to require greater setbacks on Broad Street and uh, also on Washington Street. So new buildings such as the Kensington have to be back 20 feet. Um, also one other change was removing the 12 to 18 inch concrete strip that is in the current designs which I guess was ostensibly there as a utility strip, but I don't think ever functioned that way. So you had the curb, the concrete strip, and then the planters, and then the brick sidewalk. The Kensington plan uh, would have the same shape in plan view as the traditional planters, but it would be flush and the edge would be behind the curb line so that we would get a wider sidewalk. It's really looking at wider sidewalk and passage width, which we've been focusing on. Um, the block across the street between Lee and Oak has not redeveloped. At some point, it might have new streetscape. Uh, and uh, it, so it, I would think that if this block is developed with the Kensington along the lines the commission is talking about, the balance of the block, the undeveloped parcels between Oak and the, and the hotel would be done, done in a similar fashion. Then you can evaluate it and see how, how well you okay. like it. Yeah. Um, as we're working on our small area plan for West Broad Street, particularly the south side of the street and the area in front of St. James, there is a lot of area that does not have any of the Broad Street streetscape installed. Right. And we'll have to, so I hope as a part of that plan, we can look at some choices in terms of possible modifications to the streetscape standard while trying to create design continuity so things don't look out of whack but look like they're related to one another. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll be working on that as we develop the draft plan. And uh, if the commission wants to go this way, I would recommend that that whole block be done in the same fashion mm -hmm. if and when the property adjacent to the hotel redevelops or if we fill that in with streetscape in advance of some future redevelopment. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this discussion would uh, be good uh, to clarify what we'd like to do mm -hmm. and um, also would set a good precedent. Any further discussion? Ms. G? Uh, yes, sorry. I think that since, um, you, you know, Mr. Snyder mentioned the idea that we have now 20 foot setbacks. Um, it's a good thing. And uh, I'm losing my train of thought. What I was going to say was that the city is going to, from now on, have those 20 foot setbacks on every single development that we do. It's now part of the right. uh, city requirement. Only on s certain streets. Broad and Washington. Oh, well, on, on Broad Street. Yeah. And so by the end of the development, we, we will have those 20 foot setbacks, but at the same time, we'll have setbacks that are uh, less than 20 foot, which, which would be also another mishmash of, of uh, well, we'll, of, we'll we'll have to straighten that out. streetscape, right? So, I mean, I think if we start with the standard of going with the flush, 
that sets the precedent and then we can go through the, the rest of the development with that. That's what I wanted to bring okay. forward. Depending, that still is the, the approved street plan. So right. that would have to go back for approval of uh, a re-examination of the street plan. Any further comments? Ms. G, would you call the roll, please? Ms. Hockenberry? Yes. Mr. Meeks? Yes. Mr. Rankin? Yes. Ms. Rogers? Yes. Mr. Wodiska? Yes. Mr. Dijon? Yes. Thank you. Okay, the motion carries. Uh, we'll now move on to the um, City Hall Public Safety Task Force. Uh, we haven't seen this, uh, well, we, we've seen it years ago, but uh, we haven't uh, seen, yes, we haven't seen this particular rendition. Um, Melissa is the representative on the task force, Lindy is the alternative, and so, um, or alternate. Um, and Melissa wanted us to look these over, and if we had any preference, give her guidance as to how to represent the remainder of, you know, the rest of the planning commission. She didn't want to just speak for herself. Would it be possible to look this over and, and get back? Get, I, I think get that back I think they may be meeting soon. Do you, do you know that tomorrow? Oh, are they? Are they meeting? See, tomorrow? I haven't even been advised of they that. They meet on Tuesday, so don't they? It's a track here. Well, I I I think it's not a, an either or situation. I think it's. Well, maybe it is. I think they'd really like to do all of these. All of these um, renderings. And I think that is actually what we voted on in the CIP one year, that we wanted them to go ahead with, with all of the uh, options. Um, I don't know if everyone still feels that way. And if everybody would like to take a look at it and discuss it at the next meeting, that's fine. I mean, Mel Melissa will just have to say that we're still looking at it. It's, it's not going to happen next week or, or tomorrow that they actually get it approved. Yeah, their last meeting was the October 21st meeting. I have, I have nothing. You have nothing. Is the consensus of the com commission that you'd like to uh, have time to look this over and get back to Melissa? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, she tried. <laughs> All right, we will move on to the next order of business which is approval of minutes. We have two sets of minutes, one from October 6th and one from October 20th. What? Uh, okay, let me just do the minutes and then I'll I have two uh, specific changes for the October 6th minutes. Okay. Line uh, 654 and line 712 have very nice quotes that were attributed to me that were actually said by Mr. Meeks. Aha. Uh -huh. Which is not a and big deal. And you knew that because? Well, I always search for my name and I'm like, I don't remember saying that. So then I went back and watched <laughs> the video and in fact, Mr. Meeks said it. And, and, and you and Mr. Meeks do not speak the same way. I, everybody and actually, I'm screwing up. It's not Mr. Meeks. It's Mr. Wadiska that said him. So I'm, I'm making it worse. Anyway, it's just line 654 and line 712. Okay. Russ said those things. They were pretty funny. I liked them, but I didn't say them. Well, um, I also have a few comments on, on this. Um, there, there are several... Uh, 
several attributions to the court. <laughs> and I think uh, they mean the chair. Um, I'm willing to be the court, but I don't think that's accurate. And then we go to um, line 377. And I may have said, well, you have to take it out of the proposal, but I don't think this is a proposal. I th think it was a motion. All right, are there any further corrections to the minutes of October 6th? Very good job, thank you. Let's move on to October 20th. And I have something uh, on line 666 where it attributes something that Ms. Hockenberry said to me was during Ms. Ms. Jones, Dr. Jones's uh, presentation, and I know I didn't say that. Line 666. <laughs> I remember you saying that, Lindy. Okay. Well, that, you know what? That's what I mentioned. Sorry. I made a comment about Tony the Pony, which wasn't picked up. Oh, and Lindy said, don't you dare start. It's his fault. So we could probably drop that from the. Okay. Because she mentioned Mary Ellen Henderson, because that's where but Tony the Pony is buried. I didn't say later on, I wouldn't dare say anything. That's what you would want. Yeah, I, I know that I didn't say, because I would have never said that to Dr. Jones. So I'd like it to be. Re well, to Dr. <laughs> okay, so okay, let's just drop that. Okay. It, um, any further comments? No. Are there motions to approve both minutes? So approved. No. And I second. You you motion? Yes. And I second. To approve both minutes as amended. Lindy. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Um, we do have a speaker that um, I'd like to call the petitioner. Mr. Nabergal, would you like to speak on the W O and D trail? W and O D trail. Anyway, Madam Chairman, thank you so very much, and so on. And Mr. Nabergal, would, would you just state your name and your address, Roger please? Roger Nabergal, 105 Hillwood Avenue, Falter, Virginia, for 39 years. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm the president of WNOD Trail. I, uh, I just want you to know that we have an, a, a constitution approved by Paul Gilbert, which gives us certain responsibilities. Among them it does is, is improvements on the trail. The planning commission is going pretty much on their own. Paul has come to us and briefed us. I just want you to know that we would like to have an official position. That's all. Uh, is that we something? have a lot to offer. We know the history of the trail. We put on the Walter Mess Plaza thing, the Washington Post followed it and so on and so forth. And now we are, the planning has pretty much eliminated us. And I would like to have someone take a look at that. Well, that, that's a grave oversight, I think. Yeah. So I, I'm, I, I'm certain that Mr. Stoddard will consult you uh, and take well, your comments into consideration. Paul is the new executive that we really enjoy in this, in this town. There should be more of them. So all we want to do is help you. OK. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Nabigal. We appreciate your comments. Are there any planning commission reports? Uh, okay, good. Um, let's go on to the planning director's report. Uh, Madam Chair, um, 
we are having a meeting this coming Thursday with the um, Mary Ellen Henderson, uh, the task force, if you will, and we'll be doing some debriefing on the technical assistance panel. Um, as I think many of you know, it went very well. We sent out uh, some thank you letters, a uh, copy of the historic Falls Church book, certificates of appreciation, and a Falls Church pin to the folks who participated. Uh, which they were very appreciative, and um, did you say pin or pen? There is a false church pin. Oh, so, um, we wanted to make sure I was that say, they remember who we were. If there's a false church pen, I'd like to have one. No. It's a little pin, but any, at any event, uh, Miss G and others helped us get those together. Uh, but uh, we've had very good informal and formal feedback on that. So I know some of you will be at that meeting this coming Thursday, uh, moving forward. <laughs> um, believe one of our commissioners, Mr. Meeks, may be attending uh, a VIPAS uh, session to talk about parks and recreation that's coming up. And uh, the housing staff is putting together uh, a public uh, forum uh, that uh, I know Ms. Hockenberry will probably be attending. So that we're continuing to move forward on a variety of fronts. The uh, Miller House uh, request for proposal is going to be, I believe, uh, going forward at some point in the near future. Um, our building services staff is getting ready for uh, the insurance uh, uh, officials. They have, they do an audit periodically every few years, and so we're going to be doing that this week. Um, everything's very, we're very busy, and uh, uh, counter has been very busy, and a lot of activity in the city. Um, so, if you have any questions, be happy to answer them. But we're we're keeping we're keeping busy. You're keeping busy. Good. Yes. Any questions? Do you, will you? When will we? So I'm assuming that the Park and West project has been delayed. Will you know if it gets back on track to not be delayed? Do you anticipate it before the end of the year? Um, we believe we're going to be getting some uh, some additional plans probably towards the end of this month. We'll keep you posted. I believe the uh, people who are involved with the project are working on their on the contracts with the various properties and looking at uh, uh, redesigns. So as as those become available, we'll keep you keep you posted. Check. Yes. Uh, do you have any sense of uh, the progress being made at Howard Herman, reno the renovation in the Howard right e. e. Herman <laughs> uh, project? They got a late start, and I was curious if that's going to continue through the winter. Well, I, I'm not real familiar with uh, where they are exactly. I have watched, uh, you know, the construction is ongoing. Um, Danny, do you have uh, any kind of an update on that, on progress? Yes, actually, I went to one of their progress meetings a couple of weeks ago, and they are a little bit delayed, but they think they're going to catch up. And what they've done is brought in another crew to simultaneously work on the, is it the Pearson branch and the Co branch, the one over by the Boy Scout house, as opposed to pulling the group off. So they think they're going to catch back up, and they're still expected to be done with the uh, taking the underground out and creating the new stream by, I think it's the end of April. So they're, they're planning on being on schedule. I walked it the other day. It's 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 a pretty pretty impressive little project they have going on. Yeah, no, it it's in my backyard. That's why I'm curious. Right. <laughs> no, they think that they they are behind. They they're certainly worried about uh, winter weather, but at this point they plan on on meeting meeting the deadlines. And there's some uh, some grant funding that requires that to happen. So I think they think that they're they're going to keep up with it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Any further questions of Mr. Snyder? Okay, um, Mr. Meeks. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. I'd like to accept that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We will adjourn to a work session immediately following uh, with some interesting subjects.